Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 3rd, 2020. Well, we had quite a response on Friday. An end of day rally was substantial on Friday, once again, saving some very important technicals particularly in the Dow uh, Friday afternoon with a late day surge. Now this late day surge was almost exclusively in the diamonds responsible um, by Apple. Apple, there was very little in the Dow that was positive on Friday. Um, very few companies that were positive on Friday. Apple did all of the lifting and up 10.47% setting a new record high. And not only that, Apple became the most valuable company in the world in that rally. And this morning, that's looking to continue as Apple is expected to gap up this morning. So we have lots of bullishness here in the big techs. What's interesting is we don't have a lot of bullishness everywhere else. So kind of an interesting situation um, for sure. But let's take a look at these technicals and see what we can glean from this in the market. First off, if we take a look at the Dow, we do want to recognize that we are trying to deal with this downtrend in the chart. We're really trying hard to push up through that downtrend we continue to be challenged by that however in the dow however when, if we go a little bit deeper we see that we have a pretty good hold of a support level here in the chart and although we did break this short term um uptrend right in here um and and begin this little downtrending pattern here in the chart we still have a considerable amount of bullishness here in this price pattern and if we take a look at our moving averages on friday we had once again a defense by the bulls of the 50-day and we ended up closing back above our 200-day moving average I suspect if this bullishness continues, we're going to see that 50 crossing up through the 200 here in the next few days here in the Dow. Um, overnight, futures were quite flat, but as what's become absolutely normal here in the market, every morning in the pre-market, we get a push and we're getting that push up this morning. So Dow is looking to gap up about 100 points this morning. Now that doesn't break through the resistance levels that we have in this chart. And it really doesn't change the fact that we keep, you know, every day we're either down, up, down, up, down, up, or we whipsaw like we saw the last couple of days. So keep in mind, we need to get that price breaking through up here and proving to hold a new level of support before we can really get too terribly excited here in the Dow. But certainly the bulls are in control and they have no intention of giving up that control at least yet let's take a look at the spy spy also very very strong this morning and gapping higher as you can see breaking through those resistance levels that i was just talking about in the dow the dow is struggling with those but s p 500 not so much we're going to break through some of those resistance levels here this morning pu pushing right up into here now we still have all-time highs to try to take out here resistance highs in the spy but um, right now bulls are definitely in control now they are largely being the spy is largely being lifted by just a few tech companies apple amazon uh, facebook google those are doing the majority of the lifting of the nasdaq and as you see there's a lot of charts here in the nasdaq that are really going sideways and have been locked in consolidations and we'll take a look at the absolute breadth here in just a moment to show you how how um amazing that really is that just a few companies are doing the majority of the market lift let's take a look um further here in our technicals and notice our 50 is well above our 200 there's nothing at all 
showing up in the SPY as bearishness. So very, very strong. We take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is likely to set a new record high this morning at the open. As you can see, we're looking to gap up. Could be right up here at those record highs. Now we have struggled right in here a couple of times, unable to break through. We find some sellers up here, but perhaps this morning, with Apple being pushed up as hard as it is this morning, that could change and we can break through new record highs here in the NASDAQ expected this morning. All of our technicals here are bullish. Trend is bullish. There's nothing in this chart that suggests um, that we are ready to turn south unless we were to get some kind of a failure pattern up here, creating that possibility of a triple top that could be a bearish pattern but so far we just haven't seen the bears have any kind of willingness or the strength to hold on at all i think what we need to do is we need to be pre preparing our christmas cards to send to jerome powell um, because the fed um, the fomc the um, uh, big stimulus spending that the government has been involved in is truly responsible for the strength of this market right now. With unemployment so high, it is just amazing how we're pushing this market up. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM has been kind of an interesting chart in that we have been bouncing around here between a 200-day moving average and a 500 day moving average we get just enough energy showing up in some of the financial stocks to kind of perk us up and we saw a little bit of rally in financials and energies late day on friday that helped to pick us back up above that 200 day moving average and we're looking for just a uh, you know a modest open this morning here in IWM. Now this has some work to do. If this can push on through that 500 day moving average, that would be really nice to see that move up. Keep in mind our 50 day is pushing up toward that 200. We could easily see that starting to cross over here soon as well. So bulls definitely holding on. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX yesterday or on Friday saw well last couple of days saw a couple fear spikes coming in here but by the end of the day they those bears just don't have any energy um in um can't sustain any kind of a selling move in the market in light of um, all of the stimulus talk and FOMC action. But as you can see, we're kind of holding in here on this level of support, and it still raises that little concern here uh, because we're showing, I think we're showing some complacency here in the market. Um, even at these elevated levels in the VIX. So let's watch that closely. What we need to see is we need to see those bulls push on through, break this support down, move us down into this next level of, of support in the chart, right back down into here. That would be nice to see if we're going to continue this bullish move instead of maintaining all of this elevation in the VIX and really keeping those option prices quite high. Let's take a look at T2101. This is the interesting one that um, continues to just be that flashing warning sign um, in my eyes. Um, we have a very, very few companies doing the majority of the lift in the market, and it's showing up here in the absolute market breadth um, index. We can see that most companies are really not doing much of anything. They're locked in sideways consolidations. Why just the big tech giants continue to lead this market higher, and they dominate such a big portion of the indexes. One has to consider what happens to these indexes if profit takers eventually come into those big tech giants. Keep that in mind because right now we're just not seeing a significant um, move in, in um, the majority of stocks. Um, the bullishness is occurring in just a select few. So keep that in mind and watch that closely as that absolute, absolute breadth indicator continues to decline while the market rallies. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And although we had that last minute surge in the market, 
on Friday, this really indicates what's going on in the market. The markets are pushing up through new record highs in the NASDAQ and breaking out on the SPY, yet we're seeing the majority of stocks are we're still in decline on Friday. So we lifted the indexes while the majority of stocks declined. Now, I don't know if that will continue to hold here today, if we'll see more of those stocks decline as those big techs continue to rise, I don't know. Let's watch this closely and keep in mind that we're still up here in this range. It wouldn't take a whole lot of a push back up to put us back up here in that bearish reversal zone. So watch that close. But if we continue to see the majority of stocks decline, we could push down in here uh, very easily in that chart while, you know, Apple leads the way uh, to new highs. I don't think I've ever seen in my career in trading such an imbalance between just a few companies and the rest of the market. Kind of an interesting situation and honestly I don't know what that means or what that um, really indicates about the health of the overall market. Kind of an interesting situation to deal with. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we do have a few things that we want to be paying attention to. As you can see here on the calendar today, at 8.30, or excuse me, 9.45 this morning, we're gonna get PMI manufacturing data. We're gonna get the ISNM number. That's gonna be the most likely to move us around um, in the chart today, and or in the charts today, and construction spending. We also have a couple of Fed speakers coming in here on the day. Keep in mind, we have some big reports throughout the week that we'll want to pay attention to, including um, the big one of the week, the employment situation number here on Friday. Obviously, our employment situation is not good. Um, we've been able to ignore that with all of the Fed um, actions and government stimulus. Um, will we can be able to continue to ignore that? I can't tell you so, but let's just pay attention to that number coming in on Friday. We also have a big week of earnings reports, but not nearly as intense as what we saw last week. Um, we've got about 150, just short of 150 companies reporting earnings today with some uh, important notables, uh, more than I want to cover here this morning. But, you know, companies like AIG will be reporting today. We'll keep an eye on AIG. Also, we're going to hear from some um, uh, COVID um, related stocks or, or COVID favored uh, stocks. TTWO Take Two has really benefited from the pandemic um, rallying strongly and as you can see, gapping up again this morning on its earnings report. So doing very well. We're going to hear from um, MCK, MCK, McCormick, uh, excuse me, Mickelson will be reporting to uh, today and you can see they're gapping up this morning and we also have reports from Mosaic can't type this morning Mosaic will be reporting uh, today we'll also hear from Tyson we will hear from SPCE space that's this has been kind of an interesting chart here recently and it is gapping up this morning looking a little bit stronger so lots of reports here to kind of keep us on our toes and that's going to continue on throughout the week with a pretty darn busy week of earnings reports let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that everyone if you guys could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos and also if you feel that these videos are worthy please do me a favor and click that uh, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment and thanks to everyone who takes the time to do that I do try to answer those comments you guys are awesome thank you so much um, for all of the support of the channel and um, thank you everyone because we just crossed over this weekend uh, 14,000 subscribers so thank you very much you guys are truly truly awesome and you humble me every day with these kind words and, and support of the channel 
So with that, how about we jump into some stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind that none of the stocks that I show you here um, are recommendations to buy or sell any security. It's just part of the education I provide and I'll be showing you some of the price patterns and things that I like to look for in charts. Let's take a look first at NVIDIA here. NVIDIA has been struggling in this consolidating move and on Friday we tried to perk up with the bullishness in the market and we're working this breakout here trying to push through. We're obviously holding nicely in the trend here so let's keep an eye on this as if NVIDIA can find that bullish price action in here we might be able to uh, leverage this NVIDIA into that next level or next leg higher and as you can see we've got blue sky above so there's no reason to believe why NVIDIA can't continue to move on up so keep a close eye on that. Another tech um, that I want to bring up now this is one I own and I got to tell you it's not been an impressive trade at all luckily I'm holding this with a long-term option um, this thing has just been locked in this choppy in this uh, in sideways move overall but notice that Cisco last couple of days bouncing up off of this support level now it's trying to move a little tiny bit higher this morning we'll want to watch this what I'm looking for is Cisco to break out of that resistance high and once it breaks out up here we may have some good upside potential here in this stock but keep an eye on it in our new COVID world where so many people are going to be working from home and I honestly believe that could become a trend into the future Cisco owns a lot of the platforms that make that possible to work from home and and streaming meetings and things like that so keep an eye on that I don't know if this is going to perform. Um, certainly, want to make don't want to make a prediction that it will, but you'll want to keep an eye maybe on that chart if that price pattern starts to develop. Also, take a look. Um, McDonald's. McDonald's has had a pullback the last several days, as you can see, pulling back into its trend. Let's watch this in here. This has been struggling along in this range. We've been challenged by this resistance high, but if we can hold this support in here, buyers can step up in here we might see that move on up and the reason I kind of think I've been thinking along these lines of the fast food type restaurants you know everyone's kind of getting tired of eating at home and they're they're going through drive throughs finding those places where they can eat McDonald's may benefit from that and um, we should kind of keep an eye on uh, that chart we've also seen um, uh, that kind of theory um, showing up in Jack in the Box, Jack in the Box rallying here recently, pushing on up. I've had this one in the morning market prep here for a while. And if you followed along there, you've made some nice money in Jack in the Box. And um, also Wendy's trying to hold up here, as you can see, pushing up into some, re uh, breaking through some resistance, holding it as support, watching to see if we can get that next move higher here for that blue sky breakout here in Wendy's. So, just keep an eye on that might be some opportunities in that chart might want to keep an eye on utilities as well what's interesting is we have this this mix where we see the big techs pushing but we're seeing some price action moves in some of the more defensive type stocks um, utilities being one of those these big dividend payers XLU holding up quite well and if you notice this trend right in here I'm holding up quite strong so I'm watching this level right in here to see if we can finally break through and as you can see we've been challenged by this area up here but if utilities start picking up we might see a little bit of that rotation in here where they're getting stronger as market continues to rally watch that close kind of an interesting situation to be sure in the chart um, we have to keep an eye on GLD whoops GLD, um, what is going on here? I am having a problem with my software, guys. Huh, I am having a problem with my software. I'm going to have to close it and restart it. Um, I apologize. 
I don't know what's going on here, but I will fix that problem. Take a look, keep an eye on gold and silver, guys. Uh, very, very strong. And also, you might want to keep an eye on Qualcomm. Qualcomm had a big spiking rally um, after a um, after um, a deal, uh, not a deal, but a settlement. Um, and um, is holding up very, very strong. So keep an eye on uh, Qualcomm. Um, it could be setting up as well. Apologize for the technical problems here. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Everyone, be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. I wish you all the best. Take care, everyone.